Alright okay, folks, how's it going? Welcome to another video and Merry Christmas to everyone here. Um, I thought I'd do it, obviously, uh, stuff I got for Christmas because I do it every year, so I thought I'd carry on the tradition. Um, so I hope you're all having a good Christmas, guys. Um, it doesn't feel like Christmas today, it really doesn't, you know. It's like the first year it's not really felt like Christmas. I mean, for the last maybe three or four years, I've never, never been a big fan, but it always felt like Christmas. Uh, but I don't know why, it just doesn't feel like Christmas. But anyway. Um, so yeah, um, I started off with a game that I got yesterday for the PS4 uh, from my mum and mum's boyfriend. That was Call of Duty Ghosts. I've got to say, guys, this game, I played it for about three hours maybe last night. I've got to say, I'm really, really enjoying this. I think it's a lot of fun. It really is. And if you're getting a PS4, I highly recommend this game, not Killzone Shadowfall, guys. This and Killzone Shadowfall is a huge difference in quality, you know. Uh, this game looks good. And the gameplay is well, it's just brilliant, whereas Kills and Shuffle looks good, but the gameplay is so boring. Uh, but yeah, Call of Duty Ghost, guys, a really, really good game. I love the dog you get in single player campaign, uh, Riley. Awesome dog, guys. Uh, really, looking forward, uh, really looking forward to playing more of the game, because uh, I just think it's a really, really enjoyable game, both online and single player. Um, so, um, yeah, a mixture of the cold and also, I've been drinking wine as well, so... Uh, in case I say things wrong, you know what it is, you know. Uh, so, yeah, we'll start. I've got a whole of the PS3 games here. So, um, if you're new to this channel, if you didn't see my Christmas video last year, uh, what I do uh, every year, I just write down a ton of games and give the list to my dad. And then my dad gets so much money from my granny, uh, basically, to um, you know to buy some games, really. Uh, and I put, like, 20, 20 games or something down the list. Uh, I got, oh, sugar. I got uh, 10 games here. Uh, so 10 PS3 games, which is fantastic. Obviously, no like new releases around. Um, I get the choice. I get a choice. I get two, uh, two new PS3 games. You know, for like, what thirty pound each or whatever. Or I can get like ten, you know, cheaper uh, second-hand PS3 games. Uh, I always go for that because it also you know gives me more to play. You know, and you know it, it keeps me going longer. Uh, so anyway, let's see. Um, let's see what we've got here. First of all, is the game that I knew I was getting. Because it's a game I've been really looking forward to playing uh, ever since it really came out, really. It is uh, Far Cry 3. Yeah, Far Cry 3. This game, in my opinion, looks just fantastic, you know. Uh, in my opinion, this game is what uh, Far Cry 2 should have been, you know. Uh, you're out in the wild, you've, you've, like, you meet wild animals and stuff, you're in the water, crocodiles will attack you, sharks will, will attack you. Because uh, in Far Cry 2, I always thought that was a bit of a letdown, because you're in Africa, and... Uh, Killed in um, Far Cry 2. And you know, I just thought that you'd meet lions and stuff, uh, you know, like wild animals, crocodiles in the water and stuff. Uh, for me, that was a bit of a letdown. And um, yeah, so we've got cro uh, crocodiles in this game, so the water is not safe. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing this, guys, I really am. So that's uh, Far Cry 3. Also, notice I can see from the mirror here as well, uh, this side looks white, this side looks dark. It's, it's plumbing the lighting strange. <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah. I just thought I'd uh, point that out. Uh, next, I don't know, I showed you. I should always show you, you know. It comes uh, complete, of course. Uh, disc is sweet, brand new. Cool stuff. Uh, next game is uh, Fallout New Vegas. Now, I was a big fan of Fallout 3. I don't think I like New Vegas as much, uh, personally. Uh, but I won't know until I've actually played the game. Again, another game that I've been looking forward to getting for a while. I mean, it's a cheap game, like four or five pounds, you know. This must have been from one in um, CX, ten pound. My dad didn't pay ten pound for it. He probably uh, he bought it on eBay, I would think. Um, but um, here we go. See, it comes complete, of course. I think all these games are complete. And um, yeah, of course, real good condition. Uh, so yeah, Fallout, uh, Fallout New Vegas, looking forward to playing that. Uh, next game we have is Dead Space 2. Now, uh, yeah, Dead Space 2, really enjoyed the first Dead Space, you know, a scary atmosphere in space. <coughs> <coughs> oh, bloody hell. And you see, I just really liked the uh, you know, atmosphere, you know, it's kind of taking the place of Resident Evil as far as, like, survival horror goes, until... Dead Space 3, which is ruined, in my opinion, it looks just crap. 
Uh, but yeah, Dead Space 2, I think I'll enjoy this probably just as much as the first game. There's one problem with this. Aye, uh, it's platinum. Uh, the game's not platinum, as you can see, but um, yeah, this is platinum. But it's, it's no big deal, to be honest. Uh, discs, really good, uh, really good condition as well. Just one little scratch, but yeah, uh, it's fine. So uh, yeah, Dead Space 2, another um, scary game. Looking forward to playing through that. Next game we have is a, a beautiful looking game, and that is uh, Far uh, Crisis 2. I'm going to say bloody Far Cry 2, I've got Far Cry in my head. Uh, yeah, Crisis 2, an EA, an EA game. I hear this was like one of the games that are really hard to run on a PC. I uh, yet to have a really, really good PC to run this game. And um, yeah, so not many PCs can run it, but amazing by IGN. I don't trust IGN, so that means nothing, you know. Comes complete. But yeah, Crisis has been looking a game I've been looking to get for a while, well, Crisis 2, uh, in good condition as well. I know there's a, a third game out as well, so if I enjoy this, I might end up picking up the third game at some point. So, uh, Crisis 2. Uh, next game I'm looking forward to playing. People hate it, but you know, I'll probably end up loving it. And it is uh, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Yeah. Game that gets criticised to hell. Resident Evil 5 got criticised to hell. I love that game. Resident Evil 6 got criticised to hell. I love that game. This game got criticised to hell. I'm probably going to end up loving this game as well. Just the way it goes. Uh, so you can see there. Comes complete. And. Just like brand new. So yeah, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Pretty damn cool. Um, just the way it looks, I think it's pretty cool. It's like a team based kind of thing. I think it's like SOCOM. But it's got Resident Evil in the title. So. Yeah, I'll like it. I'll, I'll probably like it, you know. I can't see me disliking it. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? Do, 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 do. We have got... Hitman Absolution. Which I've never played one Hitman game in my life, and that was Hitman Contracts, I think. Uh, I didn't actually like that. I didn't really give it much of a chance when I was younger, and I ended up selling it. I do want to get the Hitman like HD collection at some point as well in the PS3. Um, but this game looks really good. I've got to admit, it looks really good. It's a, it's a strange disc, isn't it? There you can see it comes complete. And it is in... Yep, just like brand new, really. So yes, uh, it's a clean kind of game. You, you get the choice. You can just go in all guns blazing, or you can be stealthy. But um, I think this game is the kind of game you should really play stealthy and that is probably the way I'm going to play the game so um, it just depends if I'm uh, patient enough because I get really impatient with games with Metal Gear Solid I just like to run out and just you know, shoot everybody on sight so um, yeah it'll be interesting to play Hitman Absolution next game we have is a uh, Bioware game uh, published by EA it is Dragon Age 2 now I really loved uh, Dragon Age Origins. It's not the kind of game that I am good at, you know. I was surprised I liked Dragon Age as much because I really struggled. <clears throat> I really struggled my way through uh, Dragon Age Origins, but I did enjoy the game. I thought the story was brilliant, the characters were brilliant, and here this game, the, the characters are not really that good, and I don't know if the story will be that good. Uh, but I'm looking forward to playing it anyway. Uh, again, I, I'll struggle my way through it probably, but um, it's a good manual actually as well. Yeah. It's a big manual. I miss those big manuals, guys. I do. Craving for them. Uh, a couple of scratches, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, so yeah, Dragon Age 2. We're looking forward to playing that as well. Uh, next we have uh, The Darkness 2. It's a uh, limited edition, apparently. It doesn't have the 3D cover. I don't know what's limited about it. Uh, bonus content, apparently. Limited edition, my foot. Um, so yeah, I love the Darkness 2 as well. First FPS game I played on uh, PlayStation 3. So uh, I like the look at this. I think it's kind of like it's kind of like cell shaded graphics, which is pretty damn cool. And I remember playing the demo of this back in the day, or seeing some gameplay for it back in the day. And there was, I think there's a Scotsman in the game, which I think is pretty damn cool. Hopefully, it's in your side. Uh, <laughs> I remember him saying, blah, 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 what's the matter, afraid of a Scotsman? Something like that. I think it was pretty damn funny, actually. Uh, I always like Scottish people in games. So you can see it comes complete. 
Never, um, it's not a manual actually, it's a bloody something else. Um, discs, just look brand new. No, it's not a manual. The manual is there. It's a manual. But it's got something else now. It's got um, something else. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. I'm quite curious to see what this is. That's a pretty bloody hardcore, whatever this is. Wow. It's got a two different like, covers. And you can see that. I have to go back a bit. There we go. That's pretty damn cool. And then probably the best one I think on the back. Yeah. Look at that. There you can see that very well, guys. But yeah, it looks pretty damn badass. People are going to be looking through the window wondering what the hell's going on, to be honest. So yeah, I think that looks pretty damn awesome, actually. I'm a bit of a sucker for these kind of things. So I suppose it is one of the edition if it comes with that. I don't know if the normal darkness will come with that, I don't know. But anyway, that looks pretty cool. It's a uh, uh, added bonus, I suppose you could say. So um, yeah, looking forward to playing the uh, darkness too. <laughs> Next one we have is uh, Mass Effect 2. Now you know what a good thing about Mass Effect 2 as well? Uh, I think this was originally on the Xbox 360. Uh, but then they released the games on the PS3. I don't think the original Mass Effect's on the PS3. I could be wrong, maybe they released it on PSN or something like that. But um, yeah, so feel free to let me know if it is on the if it is on the PS3, the original Mass Effect. Uh, but here, what we things with Mass Effect 2. You see, it doesn't come with a manual because that's EA bullshit, and they don't do manuals anymore in their newer games. And uh, discs, so brand new. Uh, I think it was Stars Gaming 1009 that told me that if that, if I like Dragon Age Origins, I'll probably like this game because I think this is heavy, heavy storyline based as well. You know, it's got a heavy story, a story you can really get into and enjoy, hopefully. And uh, so yeah, Mass Effect 2. Looking forward to playing that. Um, hmm. Sorry guys, something just caught my attention. There's a, a girl on the cover there. Look. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> it just caught my bum and. Um, Distracted me, put it that way. Anyway, next we have the Elder Scrolls 5, is it? 5? Hold on. So called or so called or so called. That's 4. Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Uh, so, yeah, Oblivion, a, a game I've been looking, you know, looking at for a little while. I think it's a bit buggy on the PS3. Uh, apparently, if any game is worth the price of the PS3, Oblivion is it. Uh, I don't know about that, but it could be, because this is one of the games that you can play for about 100 hours around, probably. It's one of those, like, massively multiplayer kind of games. I think it's single player, though. Or I hope it's single player. Better be single player. Yeah, I think it's single player, but probably you can probably go online about it, I would think. Uh, the best PS3 game yet. When it came out, apparently. But, yeah, I might enjoy it. I might find it a bit difficult, but there you go. It comes complete. And just like brand new. So what does this come with? And what does this come with? A manual. Quite a thick manual as well. So uh, I'm digging that. <clears throat> and we have the map of the world. Well, maybe not the world. The uh, Skyrim world. Uh, there you go. Quite a small little map. Quite a bit bigger than that. There you go. So the map of Sky, uh, Oblivion. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to giving this a shot. Again, I don't know if I'll like it too much, but I don't know. I just think I'll be playing the game, but I'll uh, kind of confuse me. And <laughs> just, I don't know if I'll get the patience for it. But anyway, the yeah, Elder Scrolls 4 uh, Oblivion. It's cool. I hear it's supposed to be better than Skyrim, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I have to, probably have to buy uh, Skyrim at some point. If I end up liking that game, I'll probably buy Skyrim. So that is it for the games, guys. Um, I've got some non-game related items, of course. Uh, I've got this from my sister, which is uh, the Winx effect, the Africa, like, uh, shower gel and uh, deodorant spray. I always get these for uh, birthdays and Christmases. Uh, what's that? Like socks, but better with girl. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Apparently. So, i um, put that in there. And uh, I got something from my dad's girlfriend as well, which is bloody awesome. It's a real shock to me to get this. Uh, 
But uh, yeah, it says the Arsenal 2014 calendar. Pretty damn awesome, actually. Uh, for those of you who don't know, obviously, uh, I'm an Arsenal fan. And uh, Ozil, it's got Ozil, Ozil on the cover. So, um, not on the front. So, uh, yeah, um, I don't really use calendars too much. But um, this will definitely encourage me to use calendars. Uh, I thought about a spot where it maybe like, just up above my laptop. Because, see, up above my laptop, there's nothing. I mean, look at the walls, man. It's just so plain. And I don't put posters up or any of that nonsense. So, um... But anyway, as you can see, um, there's a nice little space there, and I think the calendar looks pretty good up there. I just need to get a nail or something to hammer in. So, uh, yeah, the Arsenal calendar. Pretty damn sweet. So it's got like, different players on for uh, different days. Or different months, as you say. It's official product of Arsenal. Uh, so, anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I've got some things to show you, like chocolates and just... Uh, couple of bottles of wine and stuff. I also got just over £200 uh, from family as well, so uh, I can do a lot with that. I put it towards a game or save it up. Uh, knowing me, I'll probably save it up. So, yeah, um, these are just things from like family and stuff. Um, different family members, grannies and um, mum and stuff. Uh, see, it's uh, Quality Street and uh, Foxy's Biscuit Selection and uh, Cadbury Biscuits. And uh, milk tray. And of course, um, <laughs> receipt. So, um, yeah, put the receipt in as well. And this is, what is this actually? British wine. And that is, I believe, brandy. So, I've never actually tried brandy. But um, I quite like whiskey, so I think I like brandy as well. And um, so yeah, that is. I oh, hope my hand's not been covering the uh, microphone there. Yeah. That's my Christmas tree. I don't think I showed you. Uh, I usually show you every year, but yeah, that's my Christmas tree. And there's a small tree up there. And there's a meerkat. <laughs> and there's another meerkat. And uh, I'm like seeing bloody meerkats. I'm telling you. And uh, so yeah, and there's something. There's a little reef there. And there's some stuff down here that I got as well. Uh, Ferrer Rusher. Which are bloody awesome. Irish cream liqueurs. We have favourites brandy butter. And we have. Uh, I got this from the woman down at the charity shop. Uh, it is uh, the cooperative uh, chocolate selection. So, yeah. So, yeah. I'm going to put on loads of weight. I'm going to. Is this sitting? Playing games, eating chocolates. It's magic. <laughs> it's magic the amount of body weight I'm going to put on. And I'm going to have to burn it all off in the woman's summer. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this uh, little video. Let me know what you got for Christmas. If anyone's uploading Christmas videos, um, let me know. I'll watch them. Maybe not today, but Boxing Day and stuff like that. Uh, I will watch them eventually. If you want to make a video response, if you can still make video responses in this bombing new YouTube thing, I don't bloody know anymore. So I hope you enjoyed this and um yeah I'll catch you on the next video. You know what time it is guys? It's game time. Believe it or not the first game I'm gonna play is Resident Evil Operation we couldn't say. And believe it or not guys I was actually gonna stick my disc into the PlayStation 4. Seriously guys when I find a drink I'm I'm body lethal. I should really stay away from bloody electrical equipment. <laughs> Anyway, see you later, and um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your Christmas.